Hey everybody, thank you for joining today. Um, this is a quick video on how to install the EasyViz video doorbell. It's called the EasyViz DB1. And uh, this video would show you a quick setup of the mechanical uh, chime as well as doorbell. And then we're going to go all the way up to Alexa. I will show you how the component is, uh, what they have inside the box and uh, how to set this up properly. All right, so let's get into the video. If you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click on the button below to subscribe. Hit the bell to get a notification when we create and upload new videos, as well as like this video. And we we'll also appreciate some comments for you to let us know what we can do more to help you on EasyViz cameras. This is the EasyViz video doorbell. It's called the EasyViz DB1. It's nicely packed. You have the serial number right there and some other info, product information and um, certification information. I will open this real quick. When you open the doorbell, you have a call card right there. You have the QSG. Make sure you save this because you need the QR code to install that camera. And then it's packed like this, nicely packed. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. And this is the video doorbell. <coughs> you have a face plate, a white face plate. You have a black face plate, you have a brown face plate, you have multiple mounting plates. So you have this, you have the one that bevels to the side, you have the regular one. And if you take this up, you will have a box. Now this box right here it comes with the pocket, it comes with a little drill, and um, some wires that you need to set this up. So if you look at this right here, this is a power kit. It has a leveler right there, um, fuse, cap, and I'll tell you what all these are useful later on. Okay. Now, when setting up this video, you need a couple components. You need a couple components. You need a screwdriver. You need a plier. You need a hammer. And then, um, if you don't already have a, a, a hole drill, then you need um, a kind of drill bit to kind of drill a hole in a wall. Uh, one of the component that you need is going to be the chime Now I understand that some people already have chimes installed in their homes um, If you already have a chime installed in your home, that's fine However, if you don't have a chime installed in your home, I got this from Home Depot uh, You can also get it from Lowe's as well. This comes with a chime, a mechanical chime, and it comes with a transformer All right, older Buildings have about 8 volt transformer and all that, but this is supplied with a 16 volt transformer and this is perfectly fine for you to use to install the EasyBees video doorbell. This is about $20 in home people. This transformer is um, for those people who don't have transformers installed. I just want to show you what it is. Uh, this is the way the transformer is going to look. You already have a professional electrician install a transformer in your house. Now the transformer is going to look like this. If you already have it installed, you would not see it, but just to give you an idea of how it's set up, it has two uh, pins right here and uh, polarity doesn't matter. And this is going to be connected in such a way that I'm going to show you how it's going to do right now. Couple points to note. First things first, if you're using a mechanical chime, which is going to be a chime like this that has two bells or two uh, metal things like that, stainless things like that, you need this, the power kit. All right, you need to install the power kit. Now the power kit comes with a little wire right here. I already did install this already. So you need that for this. And I'll tell you how the installation goes in a second. Now, if you do not have uh, a mechanical chime, if you have what's called a digital chime, it doesn't have like this bells on it, then you would not need to use the power kit to install this video doorbell. All you need to do is just go to the front of your door, cut the power, go to the front of your door, take out the, the actual bell that's there already, or the button that's there already, and install the video doorbell. Okay, and now if you don't have a mechanical chime, or you don't have a digital chime, and you wanna install it without a chime at all, you can actually do that. So this is what you need. Um, the way you set this up, I will show you as well. And uh, you ask me one last thing, what is this? This is the U-shaped connector that is 
put in the back of the doorbell and I'll show you how this is in a second. All right, this is the way the doorbell is. It's actually like this. You do have a screw to screw this in. When you do that, if you want to take this out, all you got to do is turn the bell face up, pull it out, and it's out. All right. These two holes right here are the screws that you use to put it to the mounting plate. All right, so on the mounting plate, you will have two screws. And you will have two screws on the mounting plate. And this goes like this. And you're gonna put this in the back like this. So let's say, for instance, this comes out from the wall. So it's gonna go in, all right? So it's gonna be something like this. See that? Okay, so it goes in the back like this. And then these screws are gonna screw this to this now some other components to know is that this comes with an SD card slot so the SD card slot is going to be right here on the corner right here and it holds up to 128 gigabytes SD card go into installation I always advise you to install from inside out not outside in what does that mean install the chime first before you install the video doorbell so the sequence is going to be power off the circuit breaker install the chime if you need to install the mechanical chime and then you go out and install the doorbell before you power on okay and someone might ask me okay uh, i don't know how i don't have electrical experience i don't know how to install this that's fine all i tell you is when you open this up if it's a mechanical chime when you open this up make sure you take a picture okay because this already has been pre-installed in your house take a picture all right when you take a picture you know which of the cables are going in because you might have two red cables two black cables uh, one red one black you don't know what it is right but the professional electrician has already installed it for you uh, in your home so now before you change that out make sure when you open this up Take a picture so you know which cable is going to where and when you take out the cables mark the cable so you know okay this cable i took it out from here and that cable i took it out from here because before you do this installation you have to take out the cables from here and put the easy vs cable look at the installation right here you have front and you have trans and you have rear again front trans rear now, the way we have it installed is the white is gonna go to the trans, the black is gonna go to the front. So when you take a picture, take out the cables, put this white on the trans, the black on the front, and then the cables that you took out from the wall, connect the one that's on the front to the black, and the connect the one that was on the uh, trans to the white and tape it off when you're done with that you're gonna put this in so this goes only one way and the way I have it usually I put it this way and then I cover the chime and that's it so that's a little tape right here and you just put it in and that's it and this should be ready to go all right so you remember black is front white is trans okay when you're done with that then you know this is ready to go you would not see the cables coming from the transformer all right because it's already installed internally for you but just to show you or give you an idea of how this is installed that's why i have this on a little board right here so just have them have it in the back of your mind that you're creating a loop of this all right, it's a big loop. That's what you're creating. Now, if you do have to install brand new, uh, that way you will need the advice of, or you need the services of the professional installer to install that. But if it's already installed, just to give you an idea of what is going on behind your walls, this is a big loop that you're creating. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, I have two cables coming from here, two cables coming from here, and two cables coming from the doorbell. And again, remember, I'm creating a loop. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to have one cable connected here. Again, this is just a test, so this is not, you would not see this on your wall. All right, I'm going to have the second cable going to the doorbell. So now I have the two cables coming out from here connected, coming out from the charm connected. All right, so one is going to the transformer, the other one is going to the doorbell. And then now I have one, one of each. So I have one cable from the doorbell, and a cable from the transformer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this up together. And now we're ready to go. Remember I told you it's two right here that comes out from here and it's a 16 volt transformer. So I'm using a 16 volt transformer. And now you see I have created a loop, all right? Now what you're gonna see in your home is gonna be only two cables coming out from here. Every other thing is gonna be in the wall. This usually is heated in the back of the wall, right? So all you need to do is take this out and connect this, but in the back of your mind, you know this is what is going on behind your wall. So you're creating the big loop behind your wall. When you power up the device, you will see a solid red light you're gonna wait for the device to talk to you, okay? And when it talks to you, you would know when it's ready to Please roll. Please use EasyViz app for device Wi-Fi configuration. And then when it starts flashing blue, I'm gonna use the EasyViz app to set this up. This is the way the EasyViz app is gonna look like when you already created an account using um, an email or phone number. I always prefer to use an email, all right? So select your region because again, that's easier for you to manage. But um, use an email, create an account. When you log in, this is what you see. Remember I told you that you keep this. You can scan the QR code here or you can scan the QR code here on the doorbell, all right? So I will scan the QR code right here and I'm gonna go ahead and scan it. When you scan it, this is what it tells you. It will ask you, is the device powered on? You're gonna tap on the button right there and say yes. It will ask you, have you installed this? Again, remember I told you you install from inside out. So at this point we would have installed this and I say yes. And it will ask you, what kind of chime do you have? Of course we have a mechanical chime. So uh, you have options for electronic, you have options for no chime install. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on mechanical chime. It will show me how to install the mechanical chime and make sure I'm safely covered in the mechanical chime. And I will say, I have finished installing. Now we want to set this up on the Wi-Fi and it will ask me, uh, is the device flashing blue? Of course, it's flashing fast blue. Now, if it's connected, it's going to be solid blue. But now it's flashing fast blue, so it's on ready mode. Go ahead and tap on that. And now it's going to ask me about my Wi-Fi information. Now it shows me this. So it has taken the Wi-Fi, it's trying to put the Wi-Fi information on the camera. And the camera is going to talk in a few seconds. Keeps moving. Wi-Fi connected. Wi-Fi is connected. Platform registration successful. That's it. Configuration complete. Welcome to EasyViz. So when it's successful, this is what you're going to see. Now, the setup is always the hardest part, which is the wiring and figuring out what your um, chime is and all that. But to connect to EasyViz, takes less than two minutes, all right? So if you look at this right here, you have a preview of the screen, and then you have uh, a new feature that they put right here, which is to save the QR code. So this QR code right here, they give you an option to save that QR code to your phone. So I can go ahead and save that right there. Uh, audio is off by default, so if you wanna turn on the audio, you can turn it on. I like leaving it off. Uh, again, when you turn off the audio, it does not mean that you cannot do two-way audio. It's just that you don't record all the wind and all that stuff that is um, on the front of the device. All right, so my time zone is already there because it pushed it for my router. I'm just gonna go next. All right, the next thing is gonna ask me is to set the range of my notification. So I can, my trigger zone, I can go ahead and choose, but I'm just gonna leave it at the full one. I'm going to say save. 
Now, one last thing that I need to do before I go on this setup, one last thing to complete on this is to go ahead and turn on the cloud recording. Now, if you don't already know, this device comes with a three hour a lifetime cloud recording so you don't have to pay for that every uh, every notification that happens within the last three hours is going to give you a cloud recording for free so I, how do you turn that on I go over and tap on this and I'm gonna scroll now what did I tap on I tapped on this little gear icon right here I'm gonna tap on that I'm gonna scroll down to story status or I can click on cloud, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go close story status, tap on cloud, and I don't need to subscribe, all right? All I need to do is just turn on the recording, and that's it. Now it says that, sees, see, it says it's normal, okay? So now every video, every uh, event that happens over the last three hours, I will see a little thing going on right here little preview of the video and I can go and check it out what if I want to turn the motion detection notification so I want to, I want this camera to also notify me when someone comes close to the camera all right all I gotta do is come over here tap on the notification that little running man icon right there and now this device is gonna also send me uh, an alarm notification or message notification when someone comes close to the camera now if you see the camera will beep as well you hear that and you want to turn off the beat all you got to do is come to the select mode take it from soft to mute uh, give me one second oops and see the check mark right there on the top right corner when you change it to mute tap on the check mark and that will turn off the beep now this does not turn off the motion detection it just turns off the fact that the camera is not going to beep when something is in front of it okay now we'll finish our setup right now or what do we want to do we want to try and see if it actually works all right so watch this the chime and watch this see that it actually sent this right here and I have a notification so when we did that it showed me a notification right here okay and I can go ahead and answer say hi how's it going all right so because I'm so close that's why I'm showing you that so I'm going to turn that off all right one last thing that I need to do is to put this on Alexa, so I should be able to see it on Alexa. How do I do that? First things first, I want to turn off the image encryption from the EasyViz app. So for me to be able to successfully do this, I have to turn off the image encryption on the EasyViz app. All right, so how do you turn off the image encryption? I can go ahead and turn it off right here by tapping this go over to the image encryption I'm gonna turn it off it's gonna send me a verification code verification code I'm gonna put it in there and now the image encryption is turned off all right the image encryption turned off I'm gonna go ahead and change the name of this camera to front door I'm changing this to front door and go, go ahead and go to the Alexa app now when you go to the Alexa app it's gonna open up and when it opens up if you look on the top left corner right here you will see like a little menu icon right there so now you have to link up easy with cloud with alexa app at uh, cloud now uh, alexa calls his skills right so we're gonna go ahead and add some skills in here i'm gonna go ahead and tap on this and when i tap on that you will see skills right there tap on the skills i will go ahead and search for easy V's. And 
that's easy ways right there first option right there I'll say enable to use and it will ask me to put my login details so I'm going to take it out to put my login details and the login details is going to be the email or the username of your elect of your easy ways app I always prefer that you use either the phone number or the email all right when you put it if it's successful you're gonna see authorize and then you're gonna tap on authorize once it's, once it's done authorizing you will see discover devices all right see so the bottom right there it says discover devices and I'm gonna go ahead and discover that takes about 45 seconds and it will check and see easy this cloud to see how many cameras are linked up to your name or to your account now when you're done searching this how do you know that the camera has been connected all you got to do is tap on this right here the bottom right corner right here and you will see the camera right here camera settings right here uh, you see all the devices connected if I tap on that we have the front door right there already I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what it is so you see that you can change the name right here it doesn't change the name on the, on the easy this app it tells you what is connected via tells you all that stuff and then now it's good to go you're ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and try that and see if that works Alexa show me front door okay takes about 10 to 12 seconds and then the video is out there you see that front door and the video is out there and the video will stay for about 30 minutes before it goes off all right Alexa go home Alexa show me front door okay Again, wait for about five ten seconds and it will pop up it will say waiting for easy bees and there you go that's your video now the video is going to be there for another 30 minutes before it goes off again if I had my audio turned on I will be able to hear what is going on outside but remember I have my audio turned off now the only thing Alexa can do with this camera is to see the live view and uh, listen to the audio while you're doing live view. you cannot do two-way audio with this uh, you cannot tell it to uh, when it ring when someone rings a bell to pop up on Alexa the only thing is for live view Alexa go home so hopefully this video has been informative uh, I believe this video will have shown you how to set up this device just a quick recap on this again remember if you are using a mechanical chime you need a power kit if you're using a digital chime you do not need the power kit if you do not have a chime at all you need this to connect on one side of the, the line going to the wall and then the other side just to have a kind of like a cutoff switch has a fuse inside for it all right now the thing is when you are installing this device make sure you keep this handy because you can you need to scan the QR code right here to add the device to your account uh, you can also scan the QR code right here in the back of the unit you also have the serial number and the verification code to add this device uh, when you are installing Alexa you need to have the image encryption for your camera turned off from the EasyViz app and then you have Alexa set up make sure you have the right username and password I do prefer that you use the email or the phone number that you use to register and the uh, password because it's much more efficient and then when you're done with that you should be able to see that there i hope this video has been informative i hope you subscribe to this channel i hope you leave us some comment down below and let us know what videos you would like to see and we'll go ahead and make these videos for you